Hi everybody. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I thought today I'd do something really quick and simple. I happen to be at work and somebody asked me at work, says, geez, what do you keep in your house for food, for doing keto? So I thought I could show a little bit of what some of the stuff I have in my pantry is and some of the stuff in the refrigerator. Now, keep in mind that I'm uh, not everybody in this house is doing keto, so therefore you're going to see some things that are not keto. So um, keep that in mind. But I'm going to go through and uh, just kind of show you what we have in our pantry that we kind of keep. I'll, I'll point out the things that I keep pretty regularly um, and some good substitutes for stuff. Um, I won't go into too much detail on some of the stuff. Um, I will kind of dig into it a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise, the video would probably be about an hour long. Um, and as well as go through the refrigerator, kind of show you a couple of things that are in the refrigerator that we keep, um, as well as some things that we keep on our counter as well. So um, with that ado, um, let's kind of go take a look at in my pantry. So this is my pantry. So um, I'm going to, I'm not going to say it's the most organized, right? My wife's probably going to um, not like that I'm filming in here, but uh, I thought it'd be really kind of cool just to kind of show. So this is kind of the baking section in my uh, uh, in my pantry. So um, you'll see that I have lots of uh, almond flour, right? So I also have um, IsoPure, um, low carb, uh, chocolate uh, protein shakes, and I do drink protein shakes occasionally. I don't drink them all the time. Um, this actually has one carb and then it has one carb of fiber. So it actually works out to be zero carbs. Now I'm not going to say it's the cleanest. It does have, uh, it's one of the last ingredients and it does have a little bit of sacralose in it. So um, it's not the cleanest, um, but for every once in a while, I think it's good. Um, for me, it's really good. I enjoy it. It's good tasting. I've had a couple different flavors and I do like it and it's zero carbs. So it's good. Um, almond flour, like I said, the monk fruit sweetener, um, it's a good good substitute for sugar, right? Um, some coconut flour behind it in here, um, our vanilla. Um, I actually made, this is a actually a bread, a, a mug cake bread that a concoction that I was working on. So um, didn't come out as good as I want. So I'm trying to think of ways that I can spice it up a little bit. Um, then, of course, you'll see some Lily's chocolate chips. Um, some baker's um, chocolate in here as well. Coconut flakes. Coconut chips for, for putting into different things. Some more um, coconut flour. Uh, some cocoa powder. So we'll use this for making brownies, make it for making all kinds of stuff. Um, this is the uh, stevia that I use for uh, when, when I'm making... Uh, um, like the fat bombs that I made the other day. Hey, if you're uh, interested in seeing that fat bomb video, go back a couple of days and look under my playlist and, and check it out. Um, it's actually a pretty good video. I really like those fat bombs. So, so those are kind of some of the things you'll see in here. Some of the other baking stuff that you'll see. Um, some more monk fruit. Um, some beef gelatin. So this is uh, used in the cookies that I made the other day. So you can go back and look, check that video out with the chocolate chip cookies. They, it's a it's a really good, um, really good recipe. They had really like them. So uh, just a couple of other things that you'll see here. Um, some flax seed meal um, used for baking. Um, some gym uh, uh, zimgen gum that I use for baking. Um, and a little. Philly husks that I use in a couple of different things that I, I bake with as well. So just a kind of a broad spectrum of cooking stuff um, that I have. Um, and of course, next to it, you'll see that I have a couple of cookbooks um, and I keep all my notes and, and all my prepared for, for my videos and stuff of that nature. Plus I, I have a, a, a lot of recipes that I've pulled off of Pinster over the years and stuff. So that's kind of all the baking stuff that you go through um, up here you'll see i do get i get these uh these protein bars and i'll eat them every once in a great while from uh, costco they're actually pretty good um, i'll keep a couple of them like at my desk at work or something like that and if i do have something i will eat um, again you, you notice the crackers those are not mine those are actually from christmas when we actually put out a uh, cheese platter um, for 
for Christmas. Um, so some of the other things you'll see that we, we do like, we really like these Carolina crunches that comes in a bunch of different flavors. Um, they're actually a really good cereal for, for in the morning, uh, a half a bowl of the, half a cup of this and a, a ball of almond milk. Uh, it, it hits the spot, right? So it really serves that, that, uh, that craving for cereal that you miss after a while. So a bunch of different flavors. Um, some of the other things that, some of the, the other things that we found was these, uh, keto granolas, um, that we get, we can get them at Sprouts here. Um, they're actually really, really tasty. Um, I'll tell you. So, um, let me see if I can get a shot of this. So you can see the carbs in it and you can see the ingredients. It's just coconut chips, sunflower seeds, almonds, pumpkin seeds, uh, pecans, hazelnuts, erythritol, monk fruit, uh, extract, butter, strawberries, whey protein, um, zim, jim, gun, and salt. So pretty clean. These are really, really clean. They're really, really good. So a third of a cup, um, like I said, a third of a cup and it's total carbs are 11. Um, but there's three fiber and then there's five sugar alcohols. So, uh, you know, so you got to minus the eight from the 11 and that gives you a three. So it's three carbs, three net carbs, um, on it. So it actually gives you the, the whole thing right there on the back of it. So you can kind of see, so it's three net carbs. So it's good. It fits into my diet every way. So I just, when I'm looking for something to snack on, those are really, really, really good to have. I do keep some of Lily's dark chocolate chips. These are almond covered ones. Um, and every once in a while we'll, we'll eat on these. Um, you know, we will eat some, the birches we will make some pancakes every once in a while. Um, not too often, every once in a while. Um, of course, Quest potato chips, right? So, um, if you don't know, I know I think I talked about these before. Uh, again, these taste a lot like the Doritos. So if you like Doritos, you're probably going to like these. And it really is a blend of uh, a protein. So it's, uh, you know, milk protein, isotope, whey protein, you know, and uh, um, a bunch of other pretty pretty good ingredients overall. Um, so not, not perfect, but, uh, you know, they're, they're really good. So if you have a hankering for... Something like the uh, the nacho chips or something of that nature. This is pretty good. They have them in Cool Ranch. They have them in a uh, a spicy one as well. I really like the spicy one. I don't have any. Um, I ate them all. Um, and one of the other things I've uh, we've gotten was these uh, uh, 4505s. Uh, um, you know pork pork rinds. So these are really really clean, right? They're uh, you know raised. Uh, the pork was is uh, yeah. Uh, was raised with no antibiotics, so it's uh, it's pretty clean. It, it's just if you look at the ingredients on it, right? It's just pork skin, sea salt, and uh, and it's fried in uh, rendered pork fat. So so it's they're really really healthy. They're really really clean. Um, so these are you know, and of course they're zero carbs. So they're pretty good. Um, out of all the other ones, you have to watch when you buy. Um, pork rinds, uh, chironis, you really have to be careful of, of, of uh, the, what they cook them in and the seasoning they use. A lot of them use sugar. A lot of them will use other things that are not very good for you, very healthy for you. So that's one of the things we eat. Um, another thing you'll see there's the the raz, right? So the raz is generally the marinara sauce that we use. It's, it's just straight marinara. Um, see the ingredients here? Get to it. Right, so it's whole peeled tomatoes, um, peeled tomatoes, tomato puree, salt, basil, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. So there's no sugar added to it. There's no other garbage that they put into it. So this is a really, really good marinara. If you're going to use a, a spaghetti sauce, this is the one to use. Um, I know there's a couple of other ones out there. Um, and of course, again, Primal Kitchen is something that you'll see me um, use a lot. I use it in their salad. I mean, use it for their salad dressings as well as their ketchup and a few other things. Um, other things that you'll see out here is uh, a lot of tuna uh, here, some chicken breast um, way in the back in there that I use for different things. 
Uh, these are one of the things I really, I've really grown to like these. So if you like spaghetti and miss spaghetti, this is a good alternative, right? So this is a veggie pasta noodle. So if you're a vegetarian or if you're kind of following uh, vegan um, keto or something along those lines, these are actually really, really good. So this is nothing more than palm hearts, right? So um, let me flip it over and get a look at it so you can see. So... So this whole box is, is a serving size is about a half a cup, right? So I, I'll be honest with you. So this whole container, if you eat it, is two and a half servings. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I probably eat this. I will eat this whole whole box when I eat it. So 70 calories, right? Um, and you look down on it, uh, four, 11 grams of carbs, which is five fiber. So that means a total of six net carbs for the whole box, which is pretty good. And then a little marinara sauce on top of it and a little cheese. And it goes a long way. So um, it's really good. Um, so trying to, so the ingredients right there, just nothing but peach palm hearts, palm hearts. So if I say that again, peach palm hearts. So nothing but palm hearts. Um, oop. Straight up. So um, it's a good alternative uh um, to spaghetti so right um, and you'll see that they're keto friendly i really like these i usually order them out of amazon if you want i'll put a link down below uh, in the description and you can kind of see these uh, and check them out um, you know if you want to try them out they're pretty good I, I, they're just opening them up you heat them up put a little sauce on them and that's all there is to it. You don't have to boil the water, and it's a lot easier actually than cooking regular spaghetti or anything. It it makes a really quick, good meal, and, and is extremely filling, and takes a long time to digest. So I really like those. So, um, a couple of other things, a couple of the other things in the refrigerator that you'll see. Um, again, you'll see me a lot of Primal Kitchen stuff. So there's the Primal Kitchen dressing again that I use. I do use this Walden Green, Walden Farms. Um, I got to tell you, I really like the pancake syrup. I know it's not the best, but uh, um, <laughs> I do like it, and I don't eat pancakes very often. So, um, again, Primal Kitchen mayonnaise uh, made with the avocado oil, um, as well as you'll see that you know the the cream cheese that we use quite a bit. Uh, an open bottle of the Primal uh, Kitchen dressing you know that i've been using i actually had a salad today so this is the one with turmeric so which is really healthy for you some heavy whipping cream uh, let's see what else we got in here so um you'll see that we have lily some lily's chocolates in here so we want to take a bite um kerrygold's butter all uh, right so that's a uh, good irish butter um you know the hard-boiled eggs I got some chicken legs left over from last night that I'm going to eat. Um, a couple of berries in the top, different kinds, strawberries and black raspberries. Um, this is one of the things I really like. So uh, you want something quick and easy. Um, you can take one of these and make a wrap out of it. It's just uh, just egg whites. That's all it is. So it's zero carbs, and you can use this for an egg for a wrap and a sandwich wrap. Make some tuna, throw it in it, or uh, or you could buy some good good lunch meat so you can see nothing but just good old-fashioned eggs in it and I do eat these probably uh, once or twice a week for for lunch like I say they're quick and easy make a sandwich and take with me um, you know uh, some so apple gates organic black forest uh, um, uncured ham so I'll, I'll have different types of ham as well as some good hard cheeses the harder the cheese the better right so they're good hard cheese and uh, these, these are uh, um, cauliflower thins from Trader Joe's. Um, they're pretty good. Um, I do get them um, from, um, from a different brand, but they're exactly the same. They're actually made by the same company, but um, Trader Joe's gets this thing where they, they call them white bags. So um, it's in a white bag, but they're exactly the same kind from Outer Islands, uh, plant power sandwich thin so these are actually the same thing but these are really really good so I use these for hamburger buns and and different things of that nature they're only one carb a piece so two hamburger two pieces for a hamburger bun 
is two carbs. So how can you beat that? So um, they're really, really delicious. Um, they're, they're really healthy for you. So you'll find those here. Um, generally, you'll find some other things in here. So here's some, here's some feta cheese that I use on my salads. I like the feta cheese versus regular cheese. It's a lot healthier for you. It has MTC oil in it. Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, some provolone cheese I use occasionally. Um, and then I did, I bought some of these last time, um, Three Bridges uh, Egg Bites. These are actually pretty good. I throw them in the microwave for 90 seconds in the morning. It's a quick, easy breakfast. Um, they're only a couple of carbs. Uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I will tell you that I can make them a lot cheaper than I can buy them. Um, if you're interested in, let me know and I can make them for you and just make in a comment saying you'd like to, to see the egg bites um, and I'll make them uh, and I'll teach, show you how to make them. Um, these are something that you would buy normally. I bought these from Sprouts, but normally you would see these, uh, they're famous for their, um, at Starbucks and you'll find them in Starbucks. Um, expensive at Starbucks. Pretty, pretty pricey at, at Sprouts as well. Um, you can make them for about a tenth of the cost. Um, you just got to make a bunch of them and then, then put them in the refrigerator and then take a week or two to eat. Um, of course, can't live without the almond milk, right? So for me anyway, I can't live without coconut milk as well. That's what I put in my coffee and everything now. Um, you know, like the hard-boiled eggs and some chicken. Uh, like I said, here's some of that Raz spaghetti sauce. Um, left over from from a few about a week ago, so so that's kind of what I have in my refrigerator in our pantry that we pretty much eat, eat every day. I will say there's some other things down below. Um, I have spinach down here that I usually use to make my salads. Um, there's avocados in here. There's a bunch of avocados. I ate the last one in the other batch that we had, um, as well as a bunch of other stuff that's in here. Um, that's, that's keto that I eat just to kind of go down through, um, you'll see that, uh, some blueberries, frozen blueberries, um, you'll see ground meat, you'll see a lot of shrimp, um, a lot of, uh, broccoli, frozen broccoli, uh, so that's really kind of it. Um, I'm not sure how familiar everybody is with okra. Uh, okra is actually a really, really good food on keto. So um, if you're looking for a different type of vegetable, um, something different to try, okra is one of them and it's keto friendly. So, um, well, I just, hey everybody. Um, just so that was a quick tour of my kitchen. Um, get to see what's in my pantry, a little bit what's in my refrigerator. Not everything's in there. Um, the first part of the week, a lot of stuff's down. We have a uh, we need to probably go to the grocery store in another few days. We'll wait, but um, no big deal. Usually we'll go once a month or so to Costco and make a big haul. Um, Costco has a lot of great keto stuff, um, as well as some of the other local stores. So, <clears throat> hey, if you like this stuff and you like the content, go down below, um, click subscribe. Look at the, the links down below. I'll leave uh, for some of the information that I showed you today in case you like the palm hearts and stuff of that nature. So you can go take a look at them. Um, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon so that you can see more of this content. I'm going to try to come at you a couple times a week um, and then a couple times on the weekends. So again, um, thumbs up, subscribe, please, please, please. All right. Um, hope you have an awesome day um, and we'll be talking to you soon.